emotions without fear or leave them on the floor go and open a new door just keep blindly facing forward sun's the hottest at its core and i warned you i get bored there's too much to so excited because I have decided to do something good for myself and that shouldn't be a decision but right now it is because apparently I cannot do something good for myself if I don't decide to. So guys the next few days including today I really want to focus on getting myself back to my grounded self. I have been not really living the best life for myself and my mental health the past few days. It's been great. I mean, don't get me wrong, I totally needed that, so there's nothing wrong with letting loose a little bit. But now it's back to the center and I'm gonna start the day with a bath. I don't really do the bubble bath very often because I don't wanna waste that much water, but now that I have it, it is really nice to just take a bath every once in a while and sink into my own body and maybe do a face mask. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do because today's video is sponsored by Sand and Sky and Coco and Eve. So I brewed a tea and now I'm ready to go into the bath with my face mask and a good book. I'm uh, currently reading What Motivates Me, Put Your Passions to Work by Adrian Gottstick and Chester Elton. I just got started, so don't ask me how it is. I mean, so far it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, it sounds like the bath is about to get full, so let's go and dip the toes. <laughs> After I'm done with my bath, I want to do something that I haven't done in years, which is self-tanning. And I'm gonna use the Coco and Eve products for that, but first I really want to um, sit in the bath and wear like a good clay face mask. There's something about just wearing a face mask that just makes you feel so good and so kind to yourself. This one is from Sand and Sky and it's called Australian Pink Clay Pore Fine Face Mask. This mask is a pink clay mask or rather an Australian pink clay mask. Sometimes, aka right now, aka when I'm on my period, my skin just gets oily and my pores get more easily clogged. A clay mask that dries up and actually sucks out all of this is exactly what I need. I mean clay mask is one of those things where you use it and you take it off, you see immediate effect, which is so satisfying. This mask also has a selection of plants and fruits in it that help soothe irritation, add antioxidants, brighten the skin with cellular turnover and also add some vitamin C. Oh, you guys, taking a really warm bath when you're on your period is just immediate, immediate pain relief. This feels so good. While this one is an exfoliator with both chemical and physical, the chemical being AHAs, which is definitely one of my favorite ways to exfoliate my skin, it also has the physical exfoliation with little seeds of bamboo and macadamia. 
I personally don't like to exfoliate my skin with physical exfoliators. I just think it's a little bit too much for the face to me. So that's why um, when I'm using this, I'm using it on my chest and on my arms because I do have a tendency to a little bit of some clogged pores, especially on my chest. And this is really great for that. It will taste anything sweeter But the past remains the past But the past remains the past I got the goodies, guys! But I'm in my uh, workout wear right now and uh, I don't... I would usually probably not stand like this, especially not in a moment like this where I'm not really that comfortable with my body but when I do think about it I wasn't even comfortable with my body at my fittest this is a learning journey and uh, if you would ask me right deep down I wouldn't stand like this on the internet half naked but I do want to get over myself and to maybe take a step towards the direction of being one of those people who comfortably show everything because we all have it and we all have something to deal with and I don't want to be insecure about that and I definitely don't want to portray insecurity to my followers so here you have me in my purest self not really because I did do my makeup but one step at a time okay <laughs> let's get tanned up bye so I don't know about you guys but back in Denmark I was self tanning with like foams and all of that stuff and I don't really know if it was necessarily because I liked doing it or I wanted to do it it was more because I wanted to fit into whatever beauty standard there was in Denmark and now I'm back in Korea and in Korea the beauty standard is you gotta be pale but I feel like now that I'm growing up I'm listening more to myself and what I want to do to make me feel good and right now that is to get a little bit of color I feel exceptionally white and there's nothing wrong with being pale like me um, but right now I just want something different and I want to feel a little bit more sun-kissed <laughs> this is all over the internet and for a good reason I tried it for the first time a few weeks back and um, the boyfriend helped me out because I wanted to do it on the back and he did a terrible job wait let me look at the back Dude, the what? lines are so... What? Oh my god, give it to me! What? I'm taking over! What? I'm doing it so well right now. You are doing it horribly. Look at my back! But I could buff it out with this one that they gave me. Um, I buffed it all out and it looked pretty. It didn't dry immediately. It takes uh, two hours or so to develop. But what I especially like about this, other than it has zero unhealthy stuff for you in it, it is vegan and cruelty free and it smells amazing but the thing that I like the most about it is that it has a green color to it back in the day if you saw photos of me I was walking around like an orange carrot or something and um, that's not <laughs> the case with this one it has a greenish tone to it which after you wash it off it looks so natural I also got their uh, sunny honey face bronze drops and uh, these ones as well are really nice they take longer to develop you wear it just with your creams and such and then you get like a really nice beautiful little tan afterwards but right now I'm just gonna like apply this one all over the body so you can see the immediate effect that it gives I wish the time could stand I wish the sun never goes down There's a future ahead of us But the future can wait But the future can wait One day we will look back And remember times like that Taste and even sweeter, but the past remains the past. But the past remains the past.
I started taking yoga classes again after not doing it for a little over a year and I've been back for a month now and yoga is one of the things that just makes me feel really good when I'm done but also when I'm doing it and especially in that studio the whole mood is just beautiful so yeah I uh, signed up for two classes in a row today but I'm taking the bike which is gonna be a challenge because I'm bringing my mat but we can do that. We can do that. Let's go to yoga. Sometimes I get this feeling like I am sad or I'm lonely. But I'm not sad and lonely, you know? I get these rushes of sudden and unexplainable depression waves. I don't want to call it depression because that's an actual illness that people are living with. I'm not, but we all have these waves of that feeling that just takes over you sometimes and mine funny enough comes a lot when I'm on my period I'm just hit by a lot of emotions and obviously that's a hormone thing <laughs> but still it's valid things to to think about and it's not something that isn't there when I'm not on my period it just gets visible to me when I'm on my period and I'm extremely happy. I'm in love and I have a lot of friends. I'm not lonely or sad or depressed generally. I'm demotivated. <laughs> I think that's what I came to the conclusion of, that I'm extremely demotivated and I'm experiencing burn off in my work right now. That's a normal thing to experience in any sort of line of work but I know that that's the thing that content creators and people online experience very often in faces and for me it has no correlation with how my views are doing or with how many sponsors I have or whatever um, this is entirely my own motivation and where I am right now where my passions stand and I'm really ready for something new something that gives me new energy <laughs> new energy because if I'm not feeling happy and fulfilled in my work I'm not feeling happy and fulfilled anywhere else because my work is my life and I am constantly surrounded by it every time I open my phone or go into the office here I have no intention in stopping YouTube I don't want this to be some whole like sad rant about how horrible my life is because my life is great i love my life okay i'm just uh, disappointed with my motivation and with my productivity these days i don't recognize myself i'm usually a really really productive and motivated girl and i think this is why i actually decided not to see any people these days Actually, for a full week now, I haven't met anyone else than, obviously, uh, my boyfriend because we live together. And I've been really aware of my unhealthy cycle of slagging off, feeling bad about slagging off, feeling sad, and then doing it all again. 
but before I do it all again, I promise myself tomorrow will be different, but tomorrow is never different. I'm always like this right now. We're telling ourselves that in order to get better, we just have to wake up early and we just have to go into work immediately after waking up. We just have to actually do it. It's not hard, right? But we can't. There's something stopping us. It's like losing weight. We all know what it takes, right? But we don't do it. It's hard, you know? <laughs> The human mind sometimes pisses me off a little bit. <laughs> but this is where Baby Steps comes in and I always was kind of angry in my head about people who said take one step at a time, take baby, st baby steps because I always thought that's just some bullshit people say to make them feel better about going too slow, you know? But now I'm in this situation and I think Baby Steps is the way to go. One step in a better direction for you is exactly what is kind to yourself and to your psyche and that's what works and right now my first baby step was to put on a pink shirt because who doesn't feel amazing when they're wearing pink so i think um today i'm gonna go and actually fetch my bike and go on an adventure i just want to go on my bike because right now in my head that makes me happy thinking about doing Maybe I'll even stop by the massage clinic or something. Oh, that sounds good. Let's go out and have an adventure together, alone, but with you, so together. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay guys, I have two options right now. I can go left and then I go home. Or I can go straight and then I can bike all the way to Hongbe. That's a long ride guys, that's a long ride. That's like if you walk on my map, it said it would take two and a half hours. So on a bike, I'm assuming like an hour maybe. But I am feeling like an adventure and I'm back on my bike and it makes me feel so happy. I'm so glad that I got this bike. This makes me happy. I don't need to realize anything else than that. I'll say let's go straight. <laughs> gown for my massage I actually usually always go to this place here because their like aroma simple is so good <laughs> I crave this all the time so yeah while the boyfriend is finishing up his work I'm gonna treat myself to some aroma massage let's go 